How's it going folks? Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about how to create sticker contour cut lines in Adobe InDesign. Now, a lot of people probably know how to do the cut lines in either Photoshop or Illustrator, but I have a different way to do it in InDesign, which I think may be a little bit faster and a little bit easier to do than setting it up with Illustrator. So I have three files in front of me. Two are rasterized files and one is a vector file. There's a picture of a cat. I have this vector Cobra logo and then I have this other snake logo that is a PNG but it does, it's not uh, transparent. It has a white background to it. So I'm going to start with the Cobra AI file. Now if I were to create the cut lines in Illustrator, you would have to select uh, select everything, you duplicate the, the layer, um, you end up having to offset the path. It doesn't take too long to do, but um, there are several steps and if you miss one then you could end up with double cut lines and things like that. I find this way to be much quicker and easier. I'm going to open up InDesign. I'm going to create a new file here and I'll just have it 5x5. Five five. I'm going to go into place and I'm going to place my Cobra AI file. I'll set it to the bounding box and I'll place it right in the middle here. I'm going to turn on my high quality display so we can see a little bit better. I'm going to center the image up and I'll just resize it to like four. So from here, I'm going to do a couple things first. I'm going to come into my swatch panel and I'm going to give it a paper background fill. And excuse me, paper background fill. There we go. And I'm going to give it a stroke and I'm going to rename this to a spot color. And I'm just going to call this uh, dye line or something like that. Okay, and I'll give it a stroke of 0.5. So we have, oops, I guess it would help if I selected that, huh? There we go. So now if I hit my W key for preview, there's my uh, cut, cut line, basically, my die line. So everything's perfect and ready to go over the printer, right? Uh, no, of course not. So we actually have to create the contour itself. So the way we do that in InDesign is select the image, go to object, go down to clipping path, and go to op options. We're going to change this type to detect edges, and I'm going to set my threshold to 1, my tolerance to 5, and then I'm going to give it an inset frame of minus 0.25 inches. And you can see when I do that, it basically is going to follow this. Uh, it's going to detect the edge of the image, or in this case, it's a vector file, but it's going to detect the edge of it, and then it's going to offset this frame a negative um, quarter inch. So basically, if I go positive, if I go 0.25, it's going to go inside, which we don't want to do. We want to go outside, so that's why we go minus. So that's it. I hit OK. I click off of that and I use my selection tool to select it again. And I go back to object and I go back down to clipping path. And then basically what we're going to do now is where it says convert clipping path to frame. Once you click this, it's going to essentially transform this square frame to whatever the clipping path that we just set up in the previous step. So click that, and now we have everything nice and smooth, just like we would for a sticker being made in Illustrator. But that only took a couple clicks, and we didn't have to do all of the extra added stuff. If I create a new layer real quick, I'm just going to call this background so I know I'm on the background layer. And I'm going to give this a black color here, change this to none, and I'm just going to 
fill a black box basically in the background so we can see. So we have our our mask basically here with the out uh, the outline and the red is going to signify where our cut contour is. And that's it. We're done. So I don't need this. I'm going to throw this away. And I'm going to export this and I'm just going to call it Cobra Cut Lines. Export it and this is ready to send off to the printer. Now if you don't like how some of these lines are turning out, if you want them to be a little bit smoother, what you can do is open this uh, file that we just created with Illustrator. I'll expand this out. And if I open the layers palette or the uh, uh, layer up over here, you can see this is the path that we created. And I can go up to Object Path. And I can go to, whoops, I don't want to offset path. I want to go to smooth path. And so if this is a little bit too rough, you think maybe the uh, uh, your cutter can't handle it, whatever your contour cutter needs a smoother line, you can either select the auto smooth here, or you can just kind of play with this bar a little bit until it kind of smooths out to your, to your liking. I think that 20% there looks pretty good, maybe 25%. That looks pretty good. So this, this line's pretty smooth, and that'll be your uh, cut line for your graph tech or Suma cut or whatever it is. So I hit save, and there you go. You're back into Adobe Acrobat with all of the uh, uh, lines set up perfectly for you. And if I go into my output, I have my swatch here for my... Uh, my cut contour and you can obviously you can change that to, to whatever it needs to be so that's how to do it with a vector but is this going to be different for a a rasterized file well let's find out I'll delete that and I'm going to use this I'm going to go with the, the other snake logo here with the white background place this in go to like four so I can see a little bit better and same thing I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna give it a solid black background so we can kind of see what's going on here and you can see this picture has a does not have a transparent fill like other PNGs this has a white fill so is this going to affect anything? Well, let's find out. Um, first of all, let's do our thing again. I'm going to give it a paper fill. I'm going to give it our, let me rename this to die line or something. Okay. Oh, no. What are we doing here? Process. Spot. Die line. No, oh, I don't know why I want to change it. Anyway, so give it a uh, 0.5 stroke. I'm going to go up to Objects, Clipping Path Options, Detect Edges, and we're going to do the same thing. 1, 5, and I'll go minus 0.25 just to see. That looks not quite good enough. We'll go to 0.5. And again, if you want to play with some of these uh, threshold and tolerance values, you can kind of edit these points by itself. But I think it does a pretty good job as it is. So I'm going to hit OK, click off of it, go back to my um, selector tool, and click on it again, and go to Clipping Path, Convert Path to Frame, and there we go. So we have our mask, and we have our uh, cut contour. Delete that, and I'll do the same thing. Uh, snake cut lines export it as a PDF and again if we find this to be a little bit like this one here looks a little rough so I'm just going to take this back into Illustrator
open up our layers here, select our path, go to up, uh, ah, come on, go to objects, path, smooth, and auto smooth it. 20% seems to be pretty good. Maybe we'll just go down to 10%. That looks pretty good. That looks fine. Hit save, and there we go again. So simple, simple. So the last one we're going to do is our cat logo. And so this is more of a pure image, a photograph, but we can still do the same thing to create a sticker with a cut line. So give it our paper fill, our new color swatch with our half uh, point stroke. Click on it, go to Object, go to Clipping Path, go to Options, Detect Edges, and we're going to start with our 1 and 5, okay? And I'll same thing, I'll call it minus 0.5. Now, as you can see on this one, obviously there's this extra area down here. Now, it's a little hard to see, but there is a shadow here underneath the cat. And so this is where playing with this threshold level is going to kind of cut in here so if I scale this up a little bit just play around with it I'm probably gonna go to maybe around right there maybe 50 or so Let's see go to 50 so now it's kind of cut in there and it's it's ignoring that extra white space that's around it so if I hit OK click off click again go back to Convert clipping path to frame, and there we go. I'm going to export this. Just going to call this cat cut lines. And once again, it's a little rough around the edges, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open that up in Illustrator. Expand this out. Open up our uh, path layer, and then I'm going to go to uh, path smooth. And I'm just going to smooth that out a little bit. That looks pretty good just in using the auto smoother. So that's pretty good. Save that. And there we have it. So a little bit different way of uh, doing it than uh, using Illustrator. Um, especially because in Illustrator, like I said, you have to do the, the several different steps um, to offset the path. This seems to basically do the same thing in, in uh InDesign, except it's really only two clicks to to set it up. So I hope you guys find this um, useful, and let me know down in the comments if you think this is an easier way to do it, or if it's easier just to stick with Illustrator. Obviously, if you have some kind of a cut program like Onyx or Flexi, this is probably all a moot point because you can just take a file and drop it in there and create cut lines directly from within that program. But for those of you who do not have programs like that, but you have um, the Adobe Suite, you can certainly use these two programs to create these cut lines. Again, leave a comment if you have any or if you have a question. And as always, like, share, subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one.